Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Savannah, welcome to my channel. Go ahead and click that subscribe button right now and we're gonna jump right in. So as you guys can tell by the title of today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I perm my hair for the third time. I do have two other videos showing you guys how I perm my hair um, on my channel. Those other two videos are more in depth, more informational. This is kind of like a quick tutorial, this video right here. So if you're looking for a more in depth, more informational video, go ahead and check out those videos, the other two videos that I have. I will link them down in the bottom bar for you guys um so yeah this is how my hair looks right now before the perm this is how i know i gotta perm my hair because the bottom of my hair will be looking like this really straight so supplies you're gonna need is gonna be the salon care reinforced cotton coil i usually just get a huge box of this and it'll last me for like three perms um these are the perm rods i'm using i use the gray and the white ones i think these are three fourths inches i'm not sure those will also be linked in the bottom bar for the actual perming solutions, I will be using the one and only exothermic perm and the one and only alkaline, um, moisturizing alkaline perm. This time I'm using two perms. In the other two videos, I only used one perm. Not much of a difference, but we'll get there. Um, you guys will also need some jumbo end wraps. I also get like a really big box of these too because they last me forever. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is wash your hair, obviously. You're gonna start off with really clean hair. I like to normally wash my hair twice and then don't condition, just cause you want your hair to be in its most natural state whenever you're perming. We're also going to be using super small sections of our hair um, for the wrapping process. You do need to work with very small sections of hair. Um, like super small, like this small. Like look how tiny this piece of hair is, what? Um, this is what takes the longest and this is why because you work with such small strands of hair um, You're gonna want to make sure that your hair is wet Then you're gonna take a jumbo end wrap wrap it around your hair like a little taco Use a spray bottle to kind of wet it get all the ends in there at the same time And then you're gonna take a rod and start to roll it So with this rod I am rolling under um, I do go back and forth with rolling over and under over and under and then I also alternate between white rod and gray rod they are both the same size of rod um, so I don't think it really makes a difference I don't think um, at least I don't see a difference whenever I burn my hair I've been using the same rods for three years I've been using the same technique for three years um, yeah so this is just how I do it um, taking strand by strand make sure that your um, strands are small enough um, to go around the rod to where there's not too much hair um, my hair since it's super long by the time I roll my hair all the way up to the root um, there's a good amount of hair on the rod you don't want too much hair around the rod just because you want the perm solution to be able to soak through that entire rod like all your hair wrapped around that rod since my hair is super long, it's kind of difficult for me, so I have to take extra small sections of hair, but just kind of wing it, you know, depending on the thickness of your hair, the length of your hair, and all that good stuff. Um, again, by the time you get to the middle section of your hair, it's gonna be um, maybe a little dried out, so just make sure that your hair is wet. It does need to be wet during this entire process. This is the um, longest part of the perm. Um, this is like the most time consuming part is just wrapping your hair. I know in my other two videos I had somebody helping me which was very nice. This time I'm riding solo. I still got done in a pretty decent amount of time I would say. I think the whole wrapping process took me about an hour but the actual perming process itself takes about 20-30 minutes tops. Like. It's just this part right here. So if you can persevere and get through the wrapping process, you're good, okay? Don't give up, you will get frustrated, I promise you. Make you a good margarita, put on a good TV show, put on some good music, do something to relax yourself, and just wrap away. And again, I do have two other videos showing a more in-depth tutorial on how I perm my hair. So if you guys want to check those videos out, they will be linked down in the bottom bar. So 
So look how cute you look after you finish wrapping all of your hair. Aren't you cute? I know, right? Um, so now we're going to take the Salon Care Reinforced Cotton Coil. Um, again, I get a really big box of this because it lasts me forever. This is the third perm that it's lasted me through and I ran out right after this perm. So it lasts you a pretty decent amount if you just buy the bulk right away. I like to measure it around my elbow to my hand twice. Um, that way it can wrap around my hairline twice as well. Um, so now this is what I'm doing. I'm just wrapping it around my hairline. Um, doing this will prevent um, any perming solution or any damaging chemicals to get onto your skin, possibly into your eye, whatever the case may be. It just is really a um, safety measure, I guess. Oh yeah, look at that. So um, now we're actually going to move on to the perm itself. So I'm going to be using two, like I said, the Moisturizing Alkaline Perm and the Exothermic Perm. They're both from One and Only. This is the only brand I use um, just because... I feel like it really doesn't dry out my hair. I feel like it really is moisturizing. They have argan oil in their products, so it's really, really nice. The first perm that I'm using is the Alkaline Perm, um, which is the blue box. And the first thing that you're going to use is the waving lotion. At least that's what my box says. So you're going to want to cut off the top and then um, apply it to your hair. If you're only using one box of perming stuff, you're going to just want to do it all over your head. My kind of thing was try to focus the Alkaline on the top of the head. And then the Exothermic will focus on the bottom of the head. Don't ask me why. That's just how I wanted to do it, okay? Um, so that's what I'm doing. And then here I am um, getting ready for the exothermic waving lotion. So for the exothermic, you kind of have to make a little mixture. So you have to pour like a little bottle of the stuff that makes it hot. That's what I call it. <laughs> into the waving lotion. And then you close it up. You shake it up and then you apply it to your hair. Um, so really not much of a difference. It's the same thing. It's still a waving lotion. You still apply it to your hair. I did read both the boxes and um, the time on both of them was the same because they are both self-stopping. So they won't like over perm your hair. They'll stop on their own um, after I think 20 or 25 minutes. I'm not really sure. Um, so I'm just applying this to all of my bottom rods. Um, and I think the box said to save like a ounce or something of your waving lotion look at me reading the box which everybody should do read your box everybody's like how do you do perm so easy i read the box that's all i do literally anybody can do a perm just read your box <laughs> and then um you're gonna want to let it sit for however long the box says every box of perm will come with this cute little plastic head wrap and you will just leave it on your head, let it set, and then you will rinse your hair with, I think, lukewarm water, depending on your box again. Um, and then you're going to want to make sure that you squeeze out as much water as possible from your rods. And now we're going to do the second step for the perming process. Again, getting some coil, wrapping it around the hairline twice. And then we're gonna take the neutralizer. Each box will come with neutralizer. Cut off that tip, and then you're going to apply it to each one of your rods. Every time you apply something to your rods, make sure each one is saturated, like saturated. You wanna make sure that every strand of hair is being touched by everything that you're putting inside your hair. Then we're gonna go ahead and take out the coil, and look, we're done. So now we get to take out all of the hard work that we put into it. We get to unwrap all of these rods and the perm is pretty much complete. Um, again, read your box, whatever your box says, please do. So I always get the self um, stopping action ones so it, it won't over perm my hair or damage my hair. Um, a wave check is not needed because it's doing its job on its own. Um, make sure you're reading how long to rinse your hair, with what kind of water you're rinsing your hair. Just follow the steps and take them very literal. Um, you really cannot mess up on a perm, like an at-home perm, if you just follow the box. Again, I do have two other videos that will be linked in the bottom bar if you want a more in-depth uh, video, in-depth tutorial about what I did. And yeah, this is how it looks when I'm done. After you're finished unwrapping all the rods, the curls are gonna look very, very tight. 
um, once you finish the perm, that is completely normal. It will not stay like this. Um, I do not pull my curls apart until um, 48 hours. You do have to let your perm sit for two days, so no shower, no shampoo. You can take a body shower with a shower cap, but you cannot wash your hair, which I think is the only downside to getting a perm. <laughs> but yeah, so just leave your curls as tight and kinky as they are like this and don't touch them. Try not to touch them for the 48 hours because I promise you it's gonna stink and it's going to get really frizzy. Um, so here I am a couple days after my perm and I wanted to show you guys how it kind of looked after the perm itself. So I'm just putting some products in my hair. I did change up my hair routine. So if you guys would want a video on what I use for my perm, leave a comment down below. I'll be glad to make that video for you. Um, after I put all my sprays and all my serums and all my oils and everything, um, this is how it looks right here. Normally, if I were to be going out, I would put some type of mousse in it or um, some type of curling cream, like to kind of give it like that stick and stay um, kind of feel. But I'm just going to bed right now. So I just put some good products in it and I'm off to bed. This is how it looks when I style it. Look at me sitting in the car. Car selfies are life. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.